setting my new goal after getting my squat PR of 140 kg. So obviously I'm going to be deloading for a few weeks after that PR because I'm going to start to focus on my deadlift now and squats are going to stay light but I'm still going to have a goal for my squats. So the first goal is to get 15 reps of 80 kg and then I want to do that with 90 and then eventually get 100 kg and get 15 reps with that. That's the end goal of this. Purely to avoid going up into the higher RPM ranges so I'm not destroying myself at the same time as doing uh, my deadlifts and because I know you can't improve both of your lifts both squat and deadlift at the same time very well so I'm improving my squat rep ranges and endurance while I'm improving my 1RM on the deadlift. Now I did work out if I'm if I'm able to get 15 reps with 100 kg, that would set my 1RM at 150 kg, so 10 above what it is now. But obviously, the more reps in you do for the strength cal calculator, the less accurate it can be. So obviously, I'm not taking that as a straight guide, but I think it's something good to work towards. Obviously, I find higher reps harder than singles and stuff it's just the way i am but i think it's a good goal i go for now while i'm going for heavier deadlifts so guys comment your opinions about that and tell me what you think or if you think i should do something else so my workouts i'm still going to do the five times five but in one of the sets whichever set i feel like it i'm going to push as many reps out as I can in that one set and then the rest are going to be the five times five. I'm also now going to start to do my first cut and I think I'll try to go to 76 kilograms to start with. It's going to be very slow. I don't want to lose weight in any sort of fast way. I'm not too bothered about it. Once I hit 76 then I'll see what I feel like from there. And if I want to go down anymore. So guys, what weight do you think I should go down to? Since I'm currently 80kg after my bolt. And I finished my squat 1RM PR day. So I can lose weight now. And cut. Try to get some abs. And yes, I've been training my abs two times a week. And I'm starting to train my calves two times a week now. So I finished one day of calves already. So I'm going to measure my calves right now and then I'm going to give an update in a month on how the size or if there's any size, any sort of visibility of them being any sort of being bigger or anything like that. I doubt there will be any sort of noticeable difference because that's just how calves are. You're not going to notice it until it's been years of training but I think, it, I think it's going to be a wee bit of an interesting training thing so... One of my days is going to be just heavier weights and then the second day is going to be higher reps for the calves but I'm also starting off at lighter weights right now and slowly building into it just in case to keep myself safe because I'm doing running as well so it's a lot of effort on to my calves and I'm also going to be doing these kind of, kind of lunges going forward and I'm going to put, put a lot more weight into these. I really want to improve these. And that's mainly for my hips. I feel like that's going to be really good for strengthening my hips and glutes as well. Maybe I'll transfer into some sort of Olympic lifting soon. But that'll be once I get my own place. And get a proper barbell for that. Guys, so if you have any sort of ab exercises you think I should add in. Comment them down below and... I'll see you by adding them into my ab routine. So peace out and see you in the next video.